Good morning from a very rainy Los Angeles. Uh, I've been up since 6 a.m. It's 7.45 now. And I'm here for jury duty. And as interesting as I think it would be to sit through a trial, it is kind of a hassle. So honestly, I'm hoping, and it's most likely that I'll just get dismissed and won't actually get chosen to be on a jury, because uh, in college, one of my psych professors told me, if you tell a lawyer that you majored in psychology, then most likely you're never gonna serve on a jury. Hopefully that's what happens. And then on top of that, hopefully I can find a place to park because I'm supposed to be in there right now. I found out where to park. I'm already late. Definitely can't bring the camera into the courthouse. So this is where I leave you. Luckily, my phone has a pretty decent camera, so. And I'm pretty sure the courthouse will be on a Pokestop Maybe two. Just uh, oh, no recording devices allowed. Bye. The way that you do. We just finished morning orientation. It's 9.30, got dismissed for a short break, so I picked up a water. Super exciting, right? Uh, no Pokestop in range of the juror room where I'll be spending most of my day. Won't find out if I'm being dismissed until 4 or 5 p.m. I'm gonna try to make the most of it though and uh, respond to a ton of emails while I'm sitting in this room all day. On the bright side, only two and a half hours till lunch break. stairs heading down to the cafeteria and accidentally ended up outside so I found a food truck I'm just gonna eat out here this is Grant Park in downtown LA in the, uh, right here near the Civic Center it's reported as a ponytail nest on the Silk Road um, it's not really that exciting of a Pokemon so I'm not gonna be spending too much time out here probably just eat call Cassie talk for a little bit and then have to head back up So. Yeah, I think they might have just called me though. Is it love? The sun's coming out. It's such a nice day today. Nice and clear. It feels crisp because it just rained. We got LA City Hall right behind me. And I'm going back inside. I was on my way back up after lunch, and uh, as I came through security to get back into the building, there was a security guard, a deputy, who was looking at me as I was putting my belt back on. And I thought, oh my god, I've done something wrong. I thought I was in trouble. He came over, turns out he wanted to take a picture. So, shout out to Greg. Thanks for supporting the channel. And also thanks for scaring the crap out of me. Three o'clock. Another break. I'm just hanging out in the snack room. Today, I can't help but think of Casey Neistat's episode when he had jury duty and he went home or to his office during his lunch break to repair his broken stool because he feels that you should be productive every day. I've done my best to be productive today. I answered a lot, a lot of emails that had piled up this morning while I was waiting in the waiting room. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not the best when it comes to getting back to emails. So, if you emailed me a while ago and just got a response, I'm sorry it took so long. If you're still waiting on a response for your email, it should be coming soon. But the latter half of my day, starting at around 11 o'clock, has just been completely gone because I've been sitting in a courtroom, and that means no phone. I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, take Casey's advice. Be productive every day. It is 
4.30 in the afternoon. I'm leaving the courthouse now. I decided to walk up through Grand Park on the way back to the car uh, just to catch a couple ponytail on the way. Um, unfortunately, I was not dismissed from jury duty. So I do have to come back tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning. At least it's not 7.45 like today. But I am gonna come back. And if I don't get dismissed tomorrow, if I do get selected for this jury, the trial could last until the 22nd. So, hopefully that doesn't mean more days like this, but it's possible. This is a beautiful gym, a beautiful park. And if my phone wasn't at like 4% battery right now, I would totally battle it. But I don't want to lose my screen recording footage like I did yesterday. So, uh, the car's right around the corner now. I parked in there. people with nowhere to go. I'm home. It's raining, so I'm gonna leave the window open because I think it sounds nice. And uh, let's play some Pokemon Duel. So this whole time I've been waiting to pull Hurdle Jump and Double Chance, and I just found out that you can get them from doing training missions. If you click on the little wait here under your locked booster, uh, scroll up a little bit and missions number eight and nine if you complete those you get double chance and you get hurdle jump which are two of the best plates in the game for sure so with those two plates in my deck now let's uh, let's play some games and see how it goes my internet is so slow this is one of the things I'm looking forward to most about moving to Long Beach is being able to have faster internet than this because Downey is a fiber dead zone there is literally no no infrastructure for fiber internet in Downey, probably because of politics and bureaucracy and stuff like that. But if you look on the coverage map, if you look on the coverage map for, sorry about the plane, if you look on the coverage map for Verizon Fios, literally everywhere around Downey uh, has Fios, but not here. So moving back to Long Beach, I'm excited to get like 50, 100 megabit upload speeds and upload videos in minutes rather than hours. So, let's see what we're up against here. Lots of EXs, Blastoise. Um, I do definitely have an advantage in move points because all of this guy's Pokemon have one move speed, or two, excuse me. They had one at the start there, but they have two. So, uh, since he's coming this way, might as well just start with the Shuppet shenanigans. I should have actually stopped him one space back. Uh because then his stuff wouldn't have been able to reach me. So he's gonna go Kirlia right off the bat. Smart choice. I'm gonna go here, see what he does next. Finally, an opponent who takes longer to make his moves than me. Unless that's just like my slow connection and he's gonna get time back after he moves, I don't know. Start coming up this way with Latios, make him deal with that. And uh, I think I am actually gonna close the window because of planes, not because of the rain. Double chance, where's he going? He wants to fight Latios with Zapdos. Perfect, I'm good. He's gonna probably roll again to try for the purple. Or dodge. Got it. Latios really is probably the strongest Pokemon because it has such uh, a, a strong downside to it. The fact that it just disappears completely if it gets defeated, um, that allows for its power on the offensive end to be a little bit higher than other Pokemon who maybe don't have a drawback like that. It's hard to play around though. Sometimes you just lose Latios and that's the end of it. Sweet. Game over. <laughs> didn't even have to use Double Chance, didn't even have to use Hurdle Jump. Let's play another one. We'll try this again and maybe this time I can make use of those new plates. Because I just have to make a risky play, especially with the clock winding down, I have to hope that I can knock out this Shuppet right now, otherwise I lose. 
I lose. Huh. All EXs and Wobbuffet. And Wobbuffet is actually a really good defender with counter. But, uh, Meowth should... Oh, I should... I should have put Pokemon Switch back in the deck. I'll block with Gabite because he can't attack it. Typically, you want to put Gabite in front of their strongest attacker, the Pokemon that's the hardest for you to deal with, because it sets up easy surround kills if they make the mistake of trying to fight. He's gonna X attack? Yeah, see? Big mistake, dude. I just, uh, slide into the DMs and get the surround. Why not shop it? And just like that, I have a big advantage on the field, I have a big advantage off the field, because I now have six Pokemon while he has five. So I'm going to start establishing more board presence, especially since he's stuck there, he can't bring another Pokemon in on this side this turn. Yeah, this is good. I'm in a good position here. So I just have to get lucky on this roll against Rayquaza. He's just going to go for the goal block. Here's what I'm going to do. Double chance it on the Latios. Attack Rayquaza, because if I can get him to roll fly, he's going to move, well, or that. I'll just straight up beat him in a battle. But if he rolled fly, he would have had to move off the goal space. This works too, though, because he can't get there. Game over. Yeah, there's also that. He could try to fight me. And roll Hurricane. But I dodge. I dodge. I'm good. Game actually over. What? What? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. That was a huge misclick. My fingers aren't that fat. Well, we're just waiting now. I don't know, maybe he rage quit as soon as he realized that I was going to win. Nope, he's back. Oh my god. Alright, so he's going to fight now, which is not a good move, because if I win... Ah, okay. But if you move onto your goal space, don't fight on your turn. Because if you lose the fight, the goal space is open. Make the opponent initiate the fight on their turn. Dang, I can't believe it. that was a huge, huge misclick on my part. I'm just going to set, start setting up for a, a possible surround here. He's going to move, making advances. Nothing's going to get there too soon. All right, so if I get the surround now, he moves in. No, I have to make my defensive play now. So, Salamence goes in to block, and that's the end of my turn. Let's see what he does. Alright, so I want Focus Band on Latios right now, because I don't, don't want to lose this fight to Wobbuffet. I want to attack now. Yeah, see, as long as he rolls counter, and you roll an attack move, he's going to beat you probably going to want to fight again right now. Oh, cannot battle. So he can't initiate an attack. Cool. Is it my turn? How long has it been my turn? Alright, we'll surround here. Since he's kind of stuck everywhere else. And he's going to fly. Hopefully I can fly over. No, but I mean that's that's fine too. As long as I don't die, I'm in a good position. Now, on this side, we'll start setting up for a surround. If we can get lucky rolls with Shuppet, uh, unlucky. Better than dying, though. Going back to the bench is always better than getting knocked out. So, let's just start moving Meowth up, because we've seen what Meowth can do. He's going to fight here. I want, I want the flyaway. Perfect. 
So now I move to the other side. This is another surround for me. And now with his weight, he can't fight, so that's okay. I have him blocked there. This is I want to block this one, so he's forced, if he wants to bring Rayquaza in, he has to use this corner. If he loses a fight here, which is unlikely. Oh, nice. He lost the fight. Now, I move Meowth up, get this around here, and I'm set up to make a play on his goal space, because he can't bring Typhlosion in at this point, unless I move something, but what do I want to do? I'm going to set up for a hurdle jump with Latios, if he keeps Wobbuffet there. Yeah. Alright, he's going to send Shuppet back. So, maybe I'll just block this completely. Because I don't want him bringing Typhlosion in. The more figures I have on the field compared to him, the better. So let's hurdle jump with Latios. Put it right there. He's going to start advancing this way. Uh, I'm just going to cover here because Wobbuffet can't fight, so I'm not really worried about that. Now, here, I'll move Latios in. I'm not going to fight. I'm going to make him fight because regardless of whether I initiate or he does, the odds are exactly the same. But if I win this fight, that works too. So if I win, obviously he's gone, he's off the goal space. If I survive, I get the surround, and it's game over, as long as I don't misclick again. So, let's try. Let's try this time. I can't believe that happened, but at least, at least I still won in the end. Alright, 2071. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's uh, 9 o'clock now, so I need to start editing because I have to be back at the courthouse in the morning for more exciting jury duty.